Hi guys, uh, my name is Tom Antos and I uh, wanted to show you an update to my gimbal, kind of run and gun setup, which I have up here. It's the Moza Air 2. Uh, in this case, I'm using the Nikon Z6 with the Atomos recorder. Uh, so it's a bit heavier setup, mainly because of the recorder. The recorder is pretty big and with these big batteries. I, I kind of showed you guys this little side handle that I've added in a, in a previous video uh, from a Digital Photo. So this is a cool handle because it allows me to switch my hands around quickly or use both of my hands to hold this setup because it is a bit heavier. But another thing that I really love is this little uh, metal bracket that I got here. I think from, from a fairly small company, company a new company that, that I found online. And they've made this specifically for the Moza Air 2 because I, I've, you know, I've tested out uh, another bracket for the DJI Ronin and for Crane gimbals and, and a few other gim gimbals made actually by Digital Photo, the same guys who make the side handle. But none of them fit the Moza Air 2 here on the top because it's very thin here. Like the area between the motor and then the, the rest of the body is very, very small. None of the brackets would actually fit there. Uh, without blocking the move of the yaw motor so with this bracket it actually fits perfectly it also allows me to have a, a, a basically i can add a handle so in this case i added this uh this is a small rig uh, handle and uh and it fits perfectly actually for that handle uh so you can add that now if you don't want to have to like if you don't care about having the capability to do this uh basically you know if you want to get a kind of a handheld kind of briefcase almost like shots um, then you don't need to add this, but this this uh, mount itself, this clamp, will allow you then also to attach this thing, which uh, I've been kind of using with some other gimbals, and I've been using before with the Moza Air 2, but I would attach the, the clamp for the, the DJ Ronin up here, and it was okay up until I had to change out the batteries, because each time you have to change out the batteries, I would have to take out the two screws, disassemble that whole thing, and then put it back on it was just a hassle plus it was blocking the access to the motor whereas with this thing you can see i can rest i can let it just kind of hang around here on my neck and uh yeah and it's it's not a problem anymore so it, it works perfectly um and installation is fairly simple you have these two big parts up here that make up the uh the the, the, the biggest portion here of the clamp uh they're machined out of i think it's aluminum and they're very well made actually they're they're they have a uh, inside they have kind of a, a groove a cut out where this rubber padding kind of goes in there so you know it's not gonna slip or move around on you so I really like that actually it's, it's better than any of the other uh, clamps that I've tried that just have rubber padding but that it's all just kind of glued in there and if it, this ever shifts and moves around then that glue can can come apart whereas this thing just stays in there because it's actually uh, a part of you could say uh, of those pieces then uh, once you mount those two together which you tighten uh, using just two uh, quarter 20 screws uh, that come with the whole kit then afterwards you put this little like angled bracket if you want to attach a handle if you don't want to attach a handle then you can just take uh, the, this little hook uh, and just thread it here in the back and that will allow you to uh, attach the belt that i have up here uh, so you can attach that belt right directly to it but if you want to attach the, the handle and you put this little angled piece which again comes with it and then you can attach various handles. This one from uh, Small Rig works really well. I'm gonna uh, post a link for exact model of this handle. And this is a cheap one you can get online. And yeah, and you attach this handle. And then, then to the handle itself, I attached the, uh, the, the little hook so that I can again uh, put this shoulder strap on there. Uh, what I also love is that once you have everything assembled, there is actually a little opening here that allows you to see perfectly your LCD screen. Uh, on the Moza Air 2 so I can still change all my settings very easily without you know having to go around like this so I can see there it's I can see perfectly right through there so I, I really like that like it's those little touches those little thoughts that are uh, that make these pieces of gear really really handy and now with this setup and um, yeah I'm very happy because like I said I I have support I mean I have uh, basically somewhere to put both of my hands on there if I want that extra support if I need to take a break or if I'm tired, then let it hang down uh, on the side or, or kind of rest it against my body while my hands uh, basically take a bit of a break. And then when I'm ready to shoot again, then there I go. So very cool little accessory. This cost, uh, was it $40, I think it is? But anyways, I'll post a link so you guys can check it out uh, where you can get it. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, highly recommend it. Like, as you can see, it works really well 
if there is anything negative I could say is just maybe maybe if they could have painted it so it looks you know black like the rest of the the gimbal but I mean it still looks nice it's like this very smoothly cut and polished uh, aluminum if anything you can always spray paint it yourself and then put it on the gimbal check out the links for the information on where to get this and the handle uh, in the description of this video and I'll see you guys in the next video bye